It is time to dive into Duel Links PvP once again with the Firewall Dragon Code Talker deck. I've not played this one since Vrain's World released, so this will be very exciting. Of course, Firewall Dragon came in, we've got the Code Talker Life skill, and we opened not all that great, honestly. Here we're going to have to go Silent Mining, and we're going to have to straight up just go and ditch out the Silent Mining to go and grab something else. And then we're going to go and grab our Lady Debug Rat. Let's then go and special summon out to our field, our A Link Slayer. And we'll then go and play Lady Debug, and I'm probably going to get these combos wrong, right? We could go for Microcoder, right? Microcoder will then get us out a Spell Trap card. So, Link Summon into Elphase. And from there, we'll then go and Link Summon into our lovely Deco Talker. Here he comes with the animation, which is actually pretty good, using our Microcoder. And we're going to get some benefits off of summoning Microcoder and from summoning oh, with our Elphase as well. So, here we go. Deco Talker coming through. Just, uh, this is a good animation, right? It's very similar to the one in Lake Seals Link Evolution, and it's just from the anime. But unlike Firewall, it doesn't look that bad. Playmaker's theme is so good. I just, Elphase activates, gonna go and bring back, I believe, in the graveyard, but it can't be used as Link material, which is really annoying for this turn. Bring back the Lady Debug, right? Yeah. And then Microcoder activates, and that's going to go and give us, actually, a, uh, a search for Cynet back. Door. So we'll summon out our debug to our field. We'll then play our silent back door. That's then going to go and grab us, banishing you. Let's go and grab the uh, the backup secretary. And from here, we can now start to link off. So let's go back up secretary into our main monster zone. We'll then go and play our coded talker alive skill to give us a trap card. Set you face down. Then we'll go and link summon into fire wall dragon. So good. So good he's finally in Door Links. And we'll play animation once just to let it go through. I wish it... I like it's the anime one. You know, I like it's the anime one compared to Cross Duel, but Cross Duel is just way high quality and looks so much better. But if we had the anime music, it'd be 10 times better. So here, we can now, of course, play our Recoded Live to go and bring back our Deco Talker. But I'm actually going to go and just play Worldly Successor, right? Because it gives us an extra turn with it. So go Deco Talker, bring you back, summon you to our main monster zone, and now we've got our bounce, we've got our negate with our deco talker, hopefully this should be fine. Now we probably did want to see an extra back row, right, like if we, if we saw oh, MST, okay, that then makes this a little bit less nice, so I think we've got to go recode alive, and take away our deco talker. So last time we probably should have actually used this first, but here we go, there's someone into, I guess, Enco talker, right, just in the MZ, and... Now we've got our Recoder Life in the graveyard to bring back our Deco Talker. Unfortunate, we lost in the gate, but we have still got the bounce. In for Candina, okay. That's fine by me. You can keep that. And we'll see where we go. In for Corobane. Have you got Festival in hand already? You've got Reborn. Okay, uh, sure. I guess you're going to bring back my Elf Phase and go and link it off into Link 3. I'm just going to assume that's what's happening here. Yep, <laughs> okay, fair enough. They could go for, I guess, the Bella Madonna, but that's a Link 4, so that's not enough there already. Tie the Binds, though. Ooh, okay, that's a bit rough. Going to the battle phase, let's go and bounce back the Candina, right? Yeah. Candina bounce back because we don't want... Trickstar Bouquet! Ooh, making that L phase very big. Oh, Jesus Christ. 4k attack. Whew. Yeah, I, th I think we're still fine, right? Warning points, very good. Sunday back door is going to bring back our Lady Debug. And we'll summon you back in attack mode. We can't play our trap card, though, which is annoying, right? Because, of course, we have our firewall in our EMZ, so that's fine. Uh, we could go and just special summon into something else, right? We don't really need to bother with that at this turn. Let's go set warning point. Let's go and battle in and just see what happens, right? Attacking in. 2k. Take 17. Now, the, the problem here is they have got, of course, the Candina back in hand. They can summon itself out, get the Corobane, but we can just shut it down with the warning point, and then they can't attack with it. They can't use the whole uh, Corobane in hand. So let's just go and shut it down and just pray there's no um, Trickstar Festival to get some tokens out, because that will then, of course, let them go in for a Link 2. Again, Firewall just being in that zone is really, really annoying. Going to take out my Lady Debug, fair enough. Or not. Okay. 
That's a bit weird. Micro code though. So let's go and link into the uh, the code talker. I just re I realized we had it. Let's go link it to code talker. Or summoning you there. We'll then play the effect of micro coder, which is going to go and grab us actually. Oh, bottomless. Doesn't matter though, because it doesn't get destroyed. There's our sign at cross wipe. And from here, we can just go and play sign at cross wipe. Go and tribute off, I guess, our code talker. And go and hit the uh, the Candina. And then go to battle phase and swing in. And there we go. Game one done. On to game number two with our code talkers. Cubix, hopefully. A very base, very free to play deck. I kind of want to play them next week, so I'm going to try and farm them out over the weekend. And we're on our rank up into legend rank. Let's see. He's playing 28 card Cubic Seed, so I'm not too sure. But uh, here we go. Let's go. We'll use the same combo as last time. One time passcode. Summon you. Going to go link into, of course, the Link Disciple. And from here, it should be straightforward, right? We should be able to go and do what we did last time. So let's go Dot Scaper. And I guess we can also summon the Sea Archiver as well. Just, just why not? Gives us our materials. So let's go and summon into our Deco Talker. And so yeah, we're not going to end on the best ball in the world, right? But we'll end on a board at least. Here we go. Active Dot Scaper coming back from the graveyard. Summon you in defense. We can then, of course, play our spell card. Code Talker alive. There we go. Set that. We can then go and bring out our Firewall Dragon. And I kind of don't want to summon into a Deco our, our Code Talker yet. So I'm going to summon Firewall. And I'm going to go and play Backup Secretary into the Link Zone. Pointed to it. So we've, we've at least got the balance right. But we've also got our code alive in case we want to use it later in the turn. So overall, okay-ish hand. Let's just see what Igami can do. Okay, revealing cubic causality and a Buster Gun deal and the third one, the Cubic King. Here comes Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord, unaffected by Firewall Dragon's effects. Excellent, excellent. That is a little bit annoying. Ah, oh, damn it. So yeah, just, just can't can't use Firewall. Uh, sure. And then we're going to get burnt for 1500. But so is he. Oh, no. It can attack again. Of course. Uh, so this will pop you into... That doesn't matter. Just, just doesn't matter. We're going to be on 200 life points. That is a little bit rough. So end phase, let's just go and pop Recode Alive and I guess banish you to go and bring out to the field. Um, ooh, yeah, let's go. Let's go for the end code talker. Okay, I think we just lost that one, right? I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give this guy, I'm gonna give this guy the win. Just attack in and give this guy the win. Why not? There's nothing I can do that can actually. Of course, I need to play cute causality. Just of, of, of course. Thank, thank that. Why would you? Why would you bother? The thing is, end code doesn't even work here. Like, just, just negated. Boom, 700. Boom, dead. Right, on to the next game. Honestly, Plat has been a real mixed bag. It's been some really easy wins and some really frustrating losses and some that just, like, didn't make any sense at all. And so, finally, we've got a Yuma player. Utopia, hopefully. They're on a win streak. They're going to rank up. Let's see. So, not the, uh, not the greatest opening hand by any means, but isn't terrible. So we can go dot scaper, summon you, and here we can actually go and play our subtraction. Just go and make you a little bit weaker and summon into you. Now from here we can go sign a back door and this will allow us to add to our hand our microcoder. So let's banish you and get microcoder. There we go. Let's then go and summon into, I guess, code talker. Why not? One, two. And we should be able to end on a, f uh, like, not great here, right? This isn't the best opening we could have had, right? The Dotscaper and Microcoder. Uh, let's grab the Cyanet Crosswipe. Probably could go for Mining there, actually. Would have been better. But let's just summon you. And link off into Decode Talker. Why not? There we go. Link off into you. And we'll set our Trap Card with our skill. And from there, that is kind of about all we can do. Set you, we'll set our Econ as well, and our Silent Crosswipe, because all of them are at least kind of live in a way. So ideally we would balance this out with our Recorded Live, then use our Crosswipe or our Econ, and then bring it back out. At least we have that play going for us. Not, not the best opener, honestly. It's been a bit of a rough day for finding duels for the video. Shen's Dojo though. Okay, very cool. Playing 6 Samurais. 
not Utopia, so less based, but, you know, at least playing a deck that was unhit on the ban list. United, though, going to be getting at least a draw to this turn if we don't pop it, which we could do. In for the Six Samurai Kizaru, and there comes the legendary Six Samurai. So he's got a rank 4 on board, he's got access to the level 5, I guess, by these two. He can search out this to summon out the level 1. So I think here we've got to go and use Cross Wipe, tribute this to go and pop out the dojo. I think that's kind of the main play we've got. And then we wait and see what happens. He's going to get his draw two off, which is fine. Seizing in two, Heroic Champion Excalibur. Oh, okay. Going for the big 4,000 attack point damage right to the face. That is interesting. And he's just going to go for it. He's just going to go into the back row. There is United again. And is that all setting a card as well? So a little, little frustrating, but thank God we've got the Econ. So we can just put you to defense and be safe from that damage. You've wasted your guys. Now, let's see how things go here. Let's go recode live. And we're going to banish our Deco Talker to go and bring back out our Enko Talker. There we go. Hopefully now we can actually like make a firewall and do some things here. Oh, we can do. Oh, we can do. Okay. That is lovely. We can't actually make firewall yet because this, this needs a empty EMZ to summon out that back out. So that is a bit rough on our front. Summon you. Gain attack points. And... And here we can then go and make L phase. So let's go link two. In for L phase, pointing upwards. That's going to, I believe, give a gain attack points, right? Yeah. So overall, not a too bad of a board. If he does try and pop these two, then we have got, you know, we can float back into Deco Talker. So that's fine. Let's just attack in with our L phase and destroy this uh, heroic challenger, hopefully. Please. I guess you might have the special summon trap card, right? That's fine. And attack in the 33. Let's see. What is that back row? Waiting for a response. That's a good sign. And he's just gone. Okay. Surely this will be the final duel of the video. It's been about two hours now of me trying to find a duel to end things off. And honestly, they've been so up and down. They've been really good or really bad. And that's kind of my experience so far with Fireball. And with Code Talkers is that they're really good when they're really good. But when they're really bad, they're really bad. And they really struggle deal with some boards and we're going against a magical musket deck so we've got to make sure we don't play any spell cards into their column so they have got of course a pop in the trap card they've got the destruction protection and they've got the effect negation and so really don't want any of those happening so let's go sign it mining and just kind of guarantee we can get some plays off here right so dot scape to the graveyard and with that we'll then go and get our like debug and if that gets negated it's fine Right, it's, it's fine. Everything else is a special summon, so actually, this works out great. So let's go Dot Scaper, and we'll summon you into the same zone as the Starfire, right? Okay, going for the Dancing Needle, which is going to banish cards in the graveyard. Fine, fair enough. Starfire can then go and search for a level 4 lower, so we can then summon out the Caspar, I believe. And Caspar then searches for another one on summon, so that is cool. Let's then go for the Lady Debug and activate you to go and grab... Uh, the only other card we can grab is our Micro Coda. Fair enough. We'll then go and summon into our Backup Sorcerer. And I think they've not got anything else. Really? You've, you've got absolutely nothing else? Okay. Let's just... Let's see it. Maybe they're holding on for a choke point, right? Maybe that's it. Let's go L phase, and then let's go and use L phase with our Micro Coda. I love this combo to go for our lovely Deco Talker. And then we just get more bodies back on board. So, overall, it works out quite nicely, right? So, we go Deco Talker. We'll then play L phase, and L phase can go and bring back, uh, I guess, we'd kind of want Micro Coda, but I think that, again, getting debug the next turn is pretty big. And here. We can go for, um, I guess cross swipe would be best, right? We'll go cross swipe. We'll summon out our Lady Debug to this zone here. We can then go and play the effect of our C Archiver to go and summon you out as well. And then we'll grab our, just gonna scoop. There we go. I'm gonna try and find one more duel. This one's going in. So here we go, final duel versus a Blue Eyes player. Maybe it's of Kyber, we're going first. 21 card deck and we've opened pretty decently right let's go lady debug in for of course our uh, our, our lovely uh, code talker our micro coda and then from here we can just uh, go straight for 
the Kotorka. So there we go, summon you to our EMZ, one, two, and then get the search off for a uh, kind of, do we want a search here for something? I Getting the mining would be good because that gives us access to our summon, but it doesn't actually change the core actual value of our hand. So I think we'll go for this, right, the cross wipe. And then we go for the backup secretary, summon you here, and here we then go for our Deco Talker, summon you, and unfortunately, we can't do a super crazy board. Right to end on, we go Deco Talker, summon you, and then let's go play the skill, Kotoka alive, set this face down. We can then play World Legacy Concession to bring back one of our guys, I guess. We'll just summon into the Micro Coda, and from here, we can just summon into Firewall. And do we really want to, though? And the answer is honestly no. I'm going to leave it here like this. Because against Blue Eyes, you've got targeting for things like your Karma Cuts. You also want to kind of stop the summoning of their alternative White Dragon. And so we kind of need things like the Cross Wipe to deal with that. Activating Dark Freaking Hole. Hola. <laughs> Hello. Um, Sure, let's go sign it back door and uh, no I need it in graveyard right so I have to go and banish this microcoder to go and get some value and grab the <laughs> grab the dot scaper okay and then you'll summon your sage and then sage will add your white stone and then no it's cosmo good with okay it's cosmo fair enough tax in can do some damage then summons a little high cosmo I'm gonna let you take the damage you know I think I'll be kind. Good which activates. Summons into something here. Uh, I feel like I might miss a timing here with this cross wipe. In for the Cosmo Slip Rider, of course. Now you target the middle one. Yep, okay, very good. Let's go. Summon Coda Alive. Go into our Talker. Banish you. And summon into one you can technically beat over, right? You can beat over this, so let's go into Talker. And it does float as well, which is so annoying that it floats. Banish this card, special summon level 4 low Cosmo from your deck. Ah, uh, it's just so annoying that <laughs> it floats into a guy. And then Slip Rider, gonna go and float into, I guess, the Farm Girl, maybe, if you have it. You might be playing a free-to-play build. Let's see. Yep, here's Farm Girl. Okay. And this doesn't actually do much uh, here, so I'm gonna go and play Recoded Alive. And bring back the Deco Talker. Because why not? And you're going to scoop. Cosmo is so, so frustratingly bad. Oh my god. I'm just going to gonna wrap up here. I've kind of had enough. Let's go on to the deck list. And so here is the deck list. It's pretty standard code talk. We're playing the two Lady Debug, the two Micro Coda, two Sonnet Mining. We're playing one copy of the Succession. And this new card, Passcode, is so good for getting you your play into this and then going into L phase. It just kind of kickstarts things off, which is really nice. I really enjoy this deck. I never once played this Amphibious Swarmship Amblo Whale. I'm sure it will come up some point, but it never did. And I found that before I could summon this, I would have probably lost because the deck I was facing could generate more value than I could just by kind of looping through his Code Talkers with the skill and summoning themselves back. But overall, this deck will get better, right, over time. Code Talkers are a huge archetype, Cyber is a huge deck type, and it'll get better over time. And so, I will be revisiting this deck quite a few times over the next kind of months as we get more support. But yeah, it's a very fun deck. Uh, just uh, feels, again, like it can be very middling sometimes or it can be absolutely crazy. But aren't most decks that anyway? So uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to go and uh, hopefully uh, not kill my voice now. Adios.